So we're about to another windy morning in Kiros. I'm on a five meter sail right now, full power. And 110 litre board. I've deliberately gone for quite a big board for today. Because I want to have a little look through jibing. In particular the step jibe. But actually the jibe preparation for all of the jibes. Now if you're watching this, you've probably watched a bunch of other videos. You've had some coaching at a local spot. There's a lot of chat around on the beach. The, the calf jibe is often seen as the holy grail of windsurfing. Particular planing out of them. And there's so many different elements that we could talk about with the calf jibe. And we're talking about the preparation and the entry. How to control that acceleration and power. And we're talking about the midpoint where we open the sail out. Start to think about a rig flip. And we're talking about the rig flip and how to catch the sail and re-engage power at the end. And we're talking about our vision, how hard we carve the board, the counterbalance throughout the turn, keeping the power on, how should I be standing up or down, high or low, so many different things. I'm going to focus today in particular on the entry, getting ready to handle the power, not just for the jive and the step jibes I'm going to be doing, but for pretty much any downwind manoeuvre or at least any downwind manoeuvre that involves taking your back foot out. Of course, if you're going for loops or flackers or anything else that's a bit more two-footed, maybe you're not going to follow the steps I'm going to run through now. But, some sort of this camera slipping. And the key bit I want to say about is our back foot. Now I'm going upwind quite hard right now. And before I do anything else, apart from make sure I've got space, which I have, so I'm going to take my back foot out going upwind. This is really early in my preparation. I find this is quite an easy thing to change for people. You've still got time to think about what's going on. Then I can start thinking about powering up and accelerating. And then I follow through my steps from my head, checking for wind, checking for space and water. My hand goes back. My harness unhooks. I drop my hips. And now I'm starting to push through my toes and bear away into the jive. Coming on the way in this time, I'm going to go through the full jive. However, it's worth mentioning that that little practice I just did then, do them. It's so good. Just get used to bearing away. Run through the head, hand, harness, hips, and then pushing down through your toes. But do it all with your back foot out of the strap, ready to make a creepy little step over to the other side. And that's quite key, I think. It's a shuffly, creepy step. Not a stamp onto the rail that would upset the trim of the board and send you all over the place, but a gentle shuffle of the back foot and a gentle press onto the rail. Or to rephrase, balancing your weight between the two feet to guide the board around its turn. So I'm upwind. I've got loads of space because because it's about 8 in the morning and no one's out yet. First thing I'm going to do, back foot comes out. Back hand, harness, drop my hips, and now push to accelerate. Yeah! And I can hold the power and then shuffle across slowly. wind, my back foot's come out, hands gone back, harness, drop and push, and then a little step across, Stay. staying low, staying low through the exit to drive back onto the plane. Well, hopefully stay on the plane as I did there. Bring you around a bit. I'm upwind. Tracking upwind hard. Back foot is out. Checking with my head. My hand's gone back. Unhook. Dropping down. And then pushing for that power. I can hold the power. I can accelerate. And then a little creepy step over. the mid 
point, the foot change, the rig flip, what we do with everything else later on in another movie, but this one really focusing on that entrance. You don't have to go all the way around the jive, and this is great practice that I'll do with my students when we're out here windsurfing together. Back foot comes out. Got a windsurfer downwind, but he's well away, so hand. Stay there, camera. Harness. And this is where the power can come on. Do one more to take me home. Upwind. I've got space. I've powered up. My back foot is out. Hand. Harness. Dropping and pushing through my toes. Now I can step over. Creepy feet leading me through the turn. Nicely planing for the exit. And that's enough for today. There's more to follow for sure. But for now, preparation being the key. Back foot out, upwind. A big stable board like I'm on will make it easier. And later on, I'm going to look through the midpoints for the exit. But thanks for joining me. Don't forget to click subscribe or come and join me in Kiros.